The milk jug is very similar. So if I move that out of the way, if you look at the milk jug, I've actually not drawn any of these flowers because they're quite complicated. So what I would do is I paint the lighter area around here, which I've drawn around. I paint the darker inside. Then I paint this white background, pretending the flowers weren't there. And then when the paint is dry, I then start drawing the individual flowers and the individual leaves and start to paint them. Because if I drew them and painted in between, it would be really difficult. And if I painted, if I drew them and painted over the top, I'd only have to end up drawing them again. So it makes sense to paint the background, and after you've painted the background, then draw the leaves, etc. So if we have a look at how this milk jug was painted and the order in which the details were placed on, because the background is quite a light colour, probably quite a good idea to draw in the individual details before painting the lightest background colours and then what will happen is when you paint this sort of bluish white colour the pencil drawing is going to show through. So if we mix up our correct colour for the background test our colour, that looks pretty good for me. And then if I paint the background, I'm getting to a stage that I'm able to paint the details in the background. It gets slightly darker under there. I'm going to add a little bit more bluey grey to that underside of it which makes it look a bit more three-dimensional and now I've got my background colour but my drawing still show through and if you look at how this has been painted there are effectively two shades of blue there is a light blue and a dark blue so if we first of all mix our light blue colour Not too bad. That's a tiny bit more white. So how this student has done this is worked with the lighter colour sections first of all. Very fine brushwork. Doesn't matter that in this sense I'm painting even the darker colour blues because I know I'm going to go over it. And then after that's been done, mixing up a darker blue. It's just about okay. And then effectively trying to draw in the details with the brush. So everything from these branch areas have almost got a thin, dark outline to them. Just really looking at the tip of the brush. Whereas this area down here, sorry, this area over there, has got little bits of an outline to the flowers. And then these dark patches.
in the middle. And again, if you look at this flower down here, again it's got thinnish outline and some dark patches. around the outside so however good you can do some fine brushwork the better quality and detail you are going to have in this area and it goes without saying that the condition of your brush the fact that you can basically test your colours and twist the brush, brush into a nice sharp point. Uh, and finally, when it comes to painting a piece of fruit, we talk about painting a piece of fruit, so in this case we'll start off, they're quite similar, this one's a bit yellower than the orange, this is a lemon. Uh, even though it looks a little bit more orange in this photo. Again, starting with the lightest colours first. So again, my paint is very dirty from when I mix the brown on the side of the beaker. I'm going to try and clean that up with a clean brush a bit, and then wipe it, it with a bit of tissue paper. I'm going to start off mixing my colour yellow with a little bit of orange in it. Test the colour. Uh, it's a little bit light but it's about the same size as there. So I'm going to paint the right colour all over or most of it. And then we know it's getting darker towards the bottom. So I'm going to mix a bit more orange with my paint. Maybe even take a little bit of brown, darken it down. So then that is darker. Bit darker up that side. Actually, I'm going to make it even darker towards the bottom. This sort of reddy brown. It looks a bit more towards. The bottom here. If you remember what we said when you blend it in. Clean brush. Either. Pull it between your fingers or dry it on a bit of tissue paper and then just like you would blend it in if it was pencil by smudging it with a cotton wool bud you can do very similar technique with paintbrush, damp paintbrush. Once the paintbrush starts to pick up some paint you might want to clean it again, pull it between your fingers again and then gradually use it to blend one paint into another paint. Some people when they're doing the orange will try and dab a little bit instead of to try and create the texture because both an orange and a lemon is quite a sort of dimpled surface and you build up the colours like that. So what